Hey guys, it's Debbie again with Driftwood and Shine. We're going to make us some homemade alcohol ink. You have to have 91 or either 97% alcohol. I couldn't find any 97. And with the pandemic, it's hard to even find this, so I, I don't know. <coughs> but you have, that's what you have to have, either 91 or 97. You need some clear bottles. The best ones are these little bottles from the Dollar Tree. You get three for a dollar. But that's the only empty one that I could find. So I'm going to use this one, which is not not good, but I can transfer it into a better bottle when I get some. Okay? You have to have needle nose pliers. I use gloves because it's very messy. Sharpies. And it... I'm, I tried making some with the cheaper um, permanent markers, and they just—I mean, they just were not vivid. I mean, they were very—they were very light. And when I put it on the cup, it almost—you you almost couldn't even tell the pink was a pink when I put it on the cup. So I just stick with the sharpies now. And then some people use Exacto knives, and I'll show you what they do with them. I don't because that's just the messier way. For me. So what you do, of course, is open your pen. Yeah. I'm mad in here this morning. And like I told y'all last night, black does not work. But I don't. I, I didn't even buy black. But black does not work. Um. I'm going to try a lime green. I don't have a lime green. And maybe a coral. That's what we're going to this morning. Of course, you take your pen apart. Or open your pen up. Sorry, good goodness. And then you have to take the pen apart. This is your hard part. <laughs> If you just turn it kind of like, oh, let me turn you down. I'm so sorry. If you're taking, like, tilt it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it'll eventually come out. Well, it will. There. See like that. Then just lay your first part down. And then I just try to get this out. And he, you just keep pulling a little. Don't pull. The, whoop, there. When you get him out, just put him in there. And then this is the part that has all your ink. You are going to have to have an X-Acto knife. I was mistaken about that. I forgot I cut them in half. Then you take. i use this as my back. A lot of people, and I'll show you what they do. They take. They take and rip down this whole piece of plastic sheathing and then just expose just the foam part. But I found that it created little particles in my alcohol ink. And like when I put it on my tumbler, then it would have little little dots of whatever whatever in it. So I don't do that. I <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just take and cut your, hold it with your exact, ugh, your needle nose pliers, and then I just cut it in half. So you do have, and you can use scissors to cut it in half, guys. You don't have to have exacto knives. You just cut it in half. Scissors probably would have worked better, to be honest. Then you just drop both halves in the... And I'm not even putting on my gloves. How about that? See, last time when I did it, I tried that cutting it in half. And it just made such a huge mess. I mean, slicing it. And it made a huge mess. But then, take and put your alcohol ink. And you want your alcohol ink to cover the top. All the way up to the top of your things. Just like that. It doesn't look like much right now, but it'll take 
eh, give it about to tomorrow and it'll pull all that that ink just kind of smushes out but you can already see where it's going to be a lime green alcohol ink and we'll do one more this top is not good but i'll just be careful with it okay and i'm going to try because i don't have coral so this will be cool to have a coral color okay again you take it and you just kind of twist it side to side That one come out easy. The paper's all been up. Let me see if I can do it better on the other side. Maybe it'll lay better. Then pull your point out. Just be careful with that because it will tear up. I'll tell you, I've tore up quite a few. There you go. Gonna put it in our bottle. Take and cut this apart, cut this right half in two. And like I said, you can if you want to do it the way um, some of the other girls have done it in that I watched when I first started making them. Is they cut down the middle of the plastic sheath and took the whole piece of. Um, foamy stuff that's right here in the middle that holds your color. They took it all the way out, but I'm not going to do that. And you take your alcohol ink and fill it up to over your the top of your oops. There you go. Look, you can already see where that's changing colors. But you just let it sit. And these are cos cosmic colors. So I'm assuming they're going to be a little neonish looking when they get through. Wow. And I'm going to tell y'all, if y'all don't know, any of y'all that craft, get you some baby wipes. Even the cheap baby wipes. They are just miracle workers in the craft world to me. And we use, like I said, we've got the Parents' Choice from Walmart. And they're just good. They get paint off your hands. They get, um, this, it didn't, it didn't come all the way off this one because I didn't keep rubbing it. But I had in permanent marker wrote across your yellow because this used to be my yellow jar. And it, even after all, and these have been, my alcohol inks have been done, they've been done a good year, if not longer. And it literally took the word yellow off of there after sitting there in permanent marker for over a year. So get y'all some, that's a, that's a must have in a craft world. It's some, and permanent markers like um, the alcohol inks work. No, nope, that's my cloudy one. Worked great. That is the right one. Worked great for, um, making sea glass so look at all the different colors of sea glass now that we can have mm -hmm. wow i've already got several made up but i didn't have any of these these neat cosmic colors so to speak so i'm going to see how they turn out once they finish you know getting that alcohol sits in there with that stuff you can, i don't know if you can see that but you can already tell Yep, right there. But see the tip of that? It's already getting white where it's already got the ink out of it. But I think that I find that's cleaner and neater to just do it like that and it still comes out. You're still good to go. So, I mean, look, this one's already getting darker. Oops, and that's the one ain't good. I better stop before it make a mess. Lord, Lord, that would be too terrible. That's it for the alcohol ink, guys. Sprinkle the video. Sprinkle the shine. And uh, let me know down below that you sprinkled it so we can get your name added in the um, giveaway roulette wheel. That's what we call it because that's what we started using. I love that because y'all can watch it and see where it ends. I like that. Hey, Wanda. Hey, Lori. Um, so y'all make some alcohol ink. 
and make some sea glass and share it with us because we sure would be interested to see um, how it works. And you can try, you can try some of the cheaper brands. I know I noticed Walmart had a cheaper brand this morning, but I just I did the other ones that I tried. I'm gonna be honest with you, I got from the Dollar Tree, the ones I tried that didn't work. So you could try the ones from from um, Walmart, that cheaper brand that may work. And then again, it may not, and then you're out that money. I don't know. I'm going to just stick with the Sharpies to make them. I'll, I'll get me some more jars from the Dollar Tree and get these other colors made up. And then um, I'm going to make me some more sea glass jars. I'd love to have some jars in all those colors. That would be awesome. Be awesome. Because I can paint it on the outside. You know, I can paint my sea glass on the outside like I did these jars. And then that way I can still put anything I want to inside. And I'm going to start using, um, in my kitchen once I finish getting it ever done, I'm going to start using mason jars for like my black eyed peas and for my uh, lima beans and for my rice and, and all that kind of stuff. And so as long as I paint it on the outside, then I'll be able to use the painted ones for... Um, to put all my stuff in. Wouldn't that be pretty lined up there with your rice and your black eyed peas and your stuff? That would be awesome. I'm gonna make, that's what I'm going to do. And I, I, I'm going to have, once my kitchen ever gets through, and I'm going to, y'all going to be with me. Y'all going to be with me when I do my countertop. On my, I, you know, I built me a sink base because I got me a galvanized tub and made me a sink out of it. And I built the part that goes up the the dishwasher goes under and I've got me a shelving part and then I've also built on a part that has my galvanized trash cup trash can in it um, I'll be finishing it out today and tomorrow it just gets so hot around here I can't be outside cutting too much but um, I'll finish it out and then once I get it finished out and get my wall done behind it with my tile and stuff then I'm gonna go ahead and um, do a process on my countertop that y'all gonna be in there with me y'all be able to watch it it's gonna be awesome it's called like a Dutch pour it's gonna be awesome I can't wait for that but that it'll take a little while for me to get there because I've got to, to work as I have in the morning time to do before mom gets up for stuff like that because I can't be off in the kitchen while she's up because she tries to get up and then I'm scared she's gonna fall so anyhow we're gonna work on it so thank y'all for joining me this morning and y'all make you some alcohol ink Make you some sea glass, and please, please, please share it with me. Okay? All right, guys. Love you. See you later.